There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant as the giant named Hagrid could wrap bundle on the doorstep of number four. Harry, Harry Hatter, boy, he lived with his Harry lived with his dreadful step parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogtend, Hogtend, Hogwarts and Wizardry. Grid took Harry to Diagon Harry to Diagon Alley. Got Alley. Most purchases a mobile list of school supplies. Wizard Bank. Hagrid collected. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from platforms from platforms from platform nine and three quarters. Dumbledore stood up. This corridor on the third on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does a most. Harry sorting hat that he wouldn't the sliver Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? Said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and s well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning, I took a wrong turn and stumbled a dumble room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned and I re they'd been replaced by a laced by nasty horde of fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Lest don't be late. <laughs> 